Hi, welcome. I have switched my SSD in my bay and first things first, let's update. But that's not the point of the video, the topic of the video. It's all about uh, VirtualBox actually, and we have a VirtualBox host module. So actually I should reboot, but hey, we're filming, so no rebooting. The thing is, I have a what if in my head. Somebody on the forum says I have an SSD. All right, fine, everything works. I've put in now an hard disk and I want to be able to auto mount it. And that's pretty easy, but I was wondering, can I make a tutorial on VirtualBox? Is it possible to show people on VirtualBox? Let's add an, um, an hard disk and what happens then? So on Super F7, it's gonna launch up my template. This is still an empty, uh, well, VirtualBox I see, so we'll have to install the latest, uh, well, 19.6 at this point in time. So I'm gonna ask your type Arco Linux. Latest is what I call, so in this machine, I always pop in the latest ISO. Um, thinking I should probably think everything again. And when I have the ISO, then the story continues. I thought maybe it's interesting for you people to show why and how I sync. So this is in sync. It's going from the ISO is coming from Google Drive. And I just say I just want this particular uh, ISO, not all of these guys, just one of them. Uh, quickly download it and you have these buttons up here, preview and open location and open and unsync, etc. So this used to be sync and it's now almost synced and you can see it in the icon. And that's it, my ISO is available. So, Eric in the InSync, oops, that's music. In the InSync, in the shared and our Linux A team, we have an ISO. We double click it and we're off. So, let's not double click, Eric. Um, yeah, we do need to double click, double click, it's okay, cancel, it's fine. Let's do this. Control F. Let's first install Arco Linux. Afterwards, I'm gonna tell the system, VirtualBox, there's a new hard drive, right? So that comes later. So I'm gonna try to imitate whatever issue you have when you pop in a extra hard disk. Just, all right. That's not it. And we're putting everything on pause here. That's just waiting. And we don't like to wait. All right, everything installed, rebooting. Now we shouldn't reboot, reboot. Let's first power off. And then we're going to assume that the storage we have is the ISO, fine, but the ISO needs to go out. I need to have a new um, hard disk. So this little icon adds hard disk. There's also one, I believe, here. That's, is it this one? Adds new storage attachment. That looks also good. What's this one then? Oh, okay, it's the same thing. You're about to add a Would you like to create a Yes, create a new one. Next, next, next. What's well, just an exercise? Eight. So that's the new one. All right. So how will the virtual box show it? How will Aglex show us there is a new hard drive in our system? So it doesn't matter if it's really it's it's a virtual box, the real thing, but it's easier to record, of course, in virtual box. So what if I can just explain all of this? in VirtualBox. So there is a file system in here. There's no line telling there is a new hard disk at all. So first thing I would go to disks and check it out. I said, oh, there is one. And it has, of course, uh, something that's not formatted at all. So size, device, contents, unknown, fine. So I'm gonna format the partition and normally these extra things or called data or something like that. 
so erase we can erase okay x4 password lux for use with windows so this should be the best thing and format of course you need to be root for that and everything is already done now if you do this you see this line data in here so the question was i always have this pop-up thing and can't we get rid of that so if i type in my password everything will be working create folder yes create folder and i can delete folder so it's writable okay so that's good now the question is can we auto mount an, an hard disk so we can unmount or you mount it and i believe in the past i have done it via this little tool and let's have a look if i can find it again so you can format edit the file system check the files and repair edit mount options i believe it was this one where i said okay let's do it like this mount at system startup show and user interface i believe I, I wrote something behind here but let's try it anyway like it is so that's one way of doing it i believe let's check if that happens the auto mounting but i think i had to write something behind it so it's not working we'll have to look for it all right so this thing oh yeah you just click on it and it's available so that's already done unfortunately we don't have to look any further so the auto mount is gone now i don't need to tell them what uh, i have but i was in my intention was to go to vivaldi and show you also the arch linux wiki in regards with that so arch linux and then i would say auto mount it's always about words right hard disk whoa the wrong search engine there we go and then we have fs tap file system tap and it has says here auto mount with system d and it says in case of large blah, 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 service etc you need to add the following options in the etc fs tap so you press well you could do super shift return right don't go in the menus learn your keyboard shortcuts etc fs tap there's the guy double click it and you see here let's kill you let's put you there and let's put you here i said here a little bit bigger so it says no auto x system let's see what happened here um so well it's a bit too big so x4 so this line line 9 is the one that we created so it's a very ugly kind of thing device disk ui etc this long thing and a mount in a very ugly name we could actually change that by the way i thought we could disks uh, we can say to voila here it is identify us as label is is maybe better label is data or something okay overwrite it and then this is going to change in label mount data a little bit more uh intuitive or, or humanly uh, better to understand what it's about so we have now this name as a mount name and it says no auto which we have here auto here x system d is not set auto mount is not set but anyway it works let's try it again just to make sure if it works so i don't make a mistake so article linux well it's not auto mounted it's auto mounted um depends what you mean with the question that i had on um, the forum the thing is do you want it to be mounted or do you want to be that you don't see the root password when it asks it so let's have a look what happens after all these settings you have the thing data and you click on it voila nothing happens this is for me 
as good as it gets. I mean, I just click and I copy paste stuff in it or, or, or sync it. There's no pop up. Everything is just fine the way it is. And so I have my uh, answer to my what if. I can make an actual video on uh, extra hard disk and mounting partitions and all that just in the virtual box and tell them that I have a new one. All right, enjoy.